How does a brain work? Can our free will be taken away from us? And how does neuroprosthetics work? I'm going to show you an experiment that explores these questions. It is an experiment that builds on the discoveries of Roman physicians and more recent scientists, and it is a story that stretches from the shore of the Mediterranean to this fire tech camp at Imperial College in London. Luigi Galvani was the first scientist to systematically investigate the nerves of dissected frogs and link their functioning to electricity. In 1780, he discovered that the muscles of dead frogs' legs twitched when they struck by an electric spark. He showed how that was a short spike of electricity conducted down the nerve, the action potential, when the electrical membrane potential of the nerve cell rapidly rises and falls. Electrodes can mimic the action potential coming from the central nervous system, causing the muscles to contract. This is a key to the whole new field of neuroprosthetics, where machines are designed to interfaces with living neurons to control the device. A bionic arm amplifies the signal. You have about 80 billion neurons inside your head right now. Each neuron may be connected up to 10,000 other neurons, passing signals to each other across as many as 1,000 trillion synaptic connections. And it is the realm of these pathways where we find our thoughts, our memories, and our dreams. These neurons are sending electrical messages back and forth and chemical messages crossing the junctions. If you decide to move your hand, some of the neurons in your motor cortex are going to send messages down when you move your arm. The signal will travel from the cortex across your corpus callosum, down your spinal cord to the lower motor neuron, out to your muscles in our fingers. It turns out that there is a nerve close to the surface of your arm that controls your bottom three fingers. So, when you're moving your arm, your brain is sending a signal. I'm going to plug it in to our human to human interface. When Jan squeezes his hand, it is because of the signal from his brain. A typical neuron fires five to 50 times every second. And the electrodes are picking up each of those changes in the action potential. We can pick up the signals Jan is sending to his arm and inject them into another hand so that that hand will move when Jan tells his hand to move. So in a sense, Jan is taking away the free will of the other person and they will no longer have any control over this hand. All right, so right now, Jan's brain is controlling both his arm and my dad's arm. Thank you for watching the neuroscience at Firetech Camps courtesy of Backyard Brains.